What's good? It's your boy Juan coming at you once again. Back with another review, this time on my latest custom piece, Tarman from Return of the Living Dead. Now, this is one of my favorite zombies, man. And this was actually one of uh, three uh, custom figures that I did uh, from the very beginning of when I started 1 6th. And, uh, you know, I mean, I've done several since, but I haven't done any for a good, um, probably a year or two. And, um, I felt that it was time to revisit this character. I feel my skills have improved, and I wanted to take things further than before. So, let's just get into this, guys. Now, if you guys have been following me since the beginning, you know that my Tar Man figure, um... Was it was a sideshow, or maybe the first one was a dragon body. Well, basically, what I would like to do is sculpt the bones over a, a body, a regular body. You know, what I mean, that's how I did. I would actually have I took Mighty Putty because <laughs> it was really early, and uh, I always felt since the guy was in a suit, you should make Tarman look like a guy in a suit, which uh, I would still do that today. But this one I wanted to do a little differently, and uh, outside the box reviews on Instagram was. Uh, so, uh, you know, straight up, like, he got it correct when he said, uh, he commented on a photo that I like how you kind of took it the concept route, basically. Uh, it's still accurate, but not as accurate in terms of, again, the guy in the suit. And he was right, and you, sir, are a true customizer. You know your shit. Um, I actually took a 1-6, uh, fully articulated skeleton, and I built, uh, I built him outwards, you know, as you can see. And it was a lot of work. Uh, I originally wanted to go with, you know, epoxy sculpt, but I wanted to articulate him, so I didn't want anything to crack or fall off. So this is all rubber-based sculpted, and it's just, you know, so he can he can get his movement on. You don't have to worry about cracking. You can, I'm not going to say be rough, but you don't have to worry so much about, you know, nothing at all coming off. Um, let's see. I took a, it took me a good while, but, uh, uh, I'm very happy. Usually I go with straight black. This time I took it a little further. Took it a little further. Added a lot of browns, lights, and darks. Lots of colors. Layer. There's layers of colors and blood splatter. Um, he's fully articulated. I'm not gonna mess with him too much, but uh, you know his jaw is even articulate. You can see his tongue. I had a lot of fun with this guy. I'm very proud of him. Uh, moving downwards, let's get to some accessories. Uh, we got the split dog. This one actually has real fur. So, I mean, you know, this one's pretty good. It's just an extra accessory. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. That side I'm really, really happy with. Uh, of course, we have his brain accessories. The cool thing about this is not all of them, because I just want some where you can sit on the base, which I'll get to in a minute. But I wanted these to have magnets in them, and I'll tell you why. That way here, we can simply, hopefully it'll work right now, because I'm on camera, it won't, whoa, I can't see. There we go, you can pretty much put the magnets, uh, this one doesn't have a magnet in it, I don't, like two or three of them, and then you can just kind of pop them in the hand. So now he's holding his brains! Brains, motherfuckers! <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so they're all wet-looking and disgusting. These are just extra ones just to throw on the base. It just looks awesome. Very happy with him, guys. I mean, I, I definitely... He's a, he's a beautiful display piece. Would be the center of anybody's collection. So uh, let's get to the base. I wanted to, um, obviously, pay tribute to Tarman before he became so tarish. And, by the way, I like recording this way. I know I should record it this way, blah, 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 but uh, I don't because it seems to ignore that's my daughter on her tricycle in the living room. <laughs> but um, I believe it just it, it's clearer for some reason when I do videos. It's really pixelated when I don't, um, you know I mean, when I don't fucking do it, uh, turn it. Anyway, I do have another camera from Darth Magnus, shout out to him. Uh, he was actually the, the one, if I didn't mention it already, the first guy that got, that got this Tar Man custom, my Tar Man custom, so, uh, you know what I mean? Definitely had to revisit this one again and do some improvements. But yeah, so, that's all painted by me, of course, one's customs, 14, so, this is just an awesome piece. Again, I'm very happy with it. Um, uh, he and even this guy that was one of the first customs, which I'm still, I gotta finish him up, he's still early, haven't painted him yet. 
Uh, I want to make him a little taller. That's uh, from uh, Night of the Creeps. That's the Axe Zombie. Here, let's just put him, the Tar Man next to Mikey. And by the way, don't forget my auction uh, for this guy. This, um, the Shape 2.0. I need to get a good shot of his eyes in this, finally. Let you guys know what it is. Look at how good these guys look to you. I am so happy. I feel real good, guys. You know what I'm saying? Thanks to Stiff Richards. I'm caught up, and I'm able to do a lot of, uh, finally come back and do different projects. Uh, bash kits are on the way. We got different bash kits coming. We are in the, they are in the works right now. Some uh, that you guys really wanted to ask, that you've been asking and requesting, and some that I just want to hit you with and surprise you guys. Uh, Exorcist is coming. I also got a couple of other projects up my sleeve. I'm just going to tell you guys. 13 Ghosts again. Remember that. That's coming. Uh, I'm going to finish the Night of the Creeps guy hopefully uh, this week. And I'll do a review of him next week. So thank you very much, Once Customs. Don't forget to friend me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Because that's where I got... Instagram is where I have all the latest pics uh, of all my newest work. I need to get on Facebook. Sorry, guys. I will be on there very, very soon again. And, um, you know, make sure you guys subscribe and comment below if you can. Um, and shout out, let me say a couple shout outs. Shout out to Rhino and all the dudes from, uh, you know what I'm saying, Figure Talk. I had a blast, even though I wasn't in there very long. I'm going to try and get on there this weekend. Uh, oh, and a shout out to BTK, Too Many Figures, man. That guy, you know, check him out. I'll leave a link in the description, man. That guy, he, he, he reminds me of me, man. Um, I hope that's not insulting to you, bro, but just because of the figure choices and a lot of the things that he does, just having fun with it, that's how it used to be for me, and it's finally becoming, it's, it's like that again, where I can just have fun and create, so I admire what he's doing, so shout out to you, and of course all the other dudes uh, out there, and uh, yeah, make sure you guys replay this video, man, this is awesome, <laughs> peace guys.